Hello everyone, uh, time for another drinking vlog video uh, and it's yet another scraping the back of the cupboard trying to find something alcoholic because I'm still penniless and um, yeah anyway luckily I found this which um, I got for like my birthday or something maybe Christmas presents with sampler Odka with four different flavours of odd vodka, strawberry milkshake, electricity, which is the one I've really been interested in trying, twisted melon, and uh, salty caramel popcorn. Um, they're different percentages, and um, there's some stuff on the back. I might read them as I do them. Anyway, yeah, I'll try this out. Um, I created this pack to make it easier for you to your friends to experience and try my experimental Odka flavours. Oh, it assumes I've got friends, but I'll do them on my own. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, let's try this. I've got, I did a video, I think on my old channel, so the video's not there anymore, of the other Odka. That, the only other one I've tried is this fresh cut grass. It's only 20%. Um, wasn't a fan, I'm going to try it again now just to remind myself why I wasn't a fan because uh, it's been a long time. I've I did this, oh, oh, I can smell it already. Oh, anyway, shot glasses. Not a big shot because I'm not sure I'm going to enjoy it. Well, I know I'm not because I remember it not tasting good. not too bad in this shot actually. I remember last time I made a kind of long drink with it or something and it's way too sickly for that. Just as a one shot it's okay. It's not um the the grass taste is as an aftertaste and it it's not well it's kinda of like it's not grassy enough, you know what I mean? Like the smell of a cook, freshly cooked lawn is really strong, and you'd expect the flavours to be really strong. Um, even if it wasn't nice, it'd be more interesting if it had a really strong cut grass flavour. But it's kind of just like a note on the. It's like a, a smell that comes through on your breath when you've swallowed it. Um, it other than that, it's really sweet and a bit sort of fake tasting. I think I described this last time. It was kind of like when you get the um, jelly belly jelly beans and you get the ones that are disgusting flavours and they're kind of disgusting and they've got a sweet flavour to them as well and there's a daddy long legs flying around anyway I've got five shot glasses lined up so I don't contaminate the flavours um, let's try this let's try opening the pack I'll try the least interesting flavours first, or the least, interest, least interesting sounding. I'll go for strawberry milkshake. Nice colour. The camera's going to have trouble picking these up. Anyway, I'll read the back. This fruity flavour came to me when I was trampolining with a cow. <laughs> so random. Sometimes I sip this creamy drink and think of Daisy back flipping over the garden fence. I'm not going to read this if it's going to be like, if it's just going to be silly. Mixes nicely with soda. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be a shot per thing? Yeah, it's just a shot per. The hell, I'm going to be drunk after this. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, it's extremely sweet. 
it's not, not special really. It does taste like strawberry milkshake, I guess. It's got that cream soda taste, it's, it's, it's not bad, but... Mm. <sighs> yeah, too sickly for me. I'm feeling, I feel it all of these already. Different percentages as well. The grass one was 20% and this one was 20% also. Salty caramel popcorn. Let's do that one. Okay, let's read salty parrot caramel. I wanted to recreate the flavour of the movies, but film tape doesn't taste as nice as this. It makes a great double feature with cola, so I guess you could mix it with cola. Create an even more disgusting drink. Oh, that one smells. That one smells really good, actually. Really like popcorn. Just got a whiff of it. Um, this shot glass hasn't been used, but it's dirty as hell. So that doesn't affect the flavour. This one seems like it might actually be good. Yeah, really popcorny smell. Yeah, it, do it does have that taste, but mm. the aftertaste is nice. The aftertaste is salted caramel popcorn, and it really does really taste like popcorn. But the first, the taste as it hits your mouth, it is like oh, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's not. It's not good. Yeah, it's actually, I don't know, I can't make my mind up, but the first taste was disgusting, but if you take like a little sip and um, draw your breath across your through your mouth, like breathe through your mouth, the flavour really comes through and it's actually pretty impressive the way it does taste like popcorn. Like, not just salted caramel flavour, but actually like the corn taste, like the toasted taste. Ah... I'm gonna just sip that just for a little bit. Interesting week not having any money because um, just getting through without any spending anything. I um, went through the bottom of my bag that I take for work to find pennies and literally paid for a Greg sandwich with like five peas and one peas. Um, I had to scrape together one pound forty and uh, I managed to find all that in change in the bottom of my bag because money just falls out my trouser pockets when I always have bits of loose change. So um yeah. It's interesting getting through a month without spending a penny. Um apart from like on rent and bills and stuff, but I always end up spending my money and then thinking, shit, I've must have had my account hacked. Where's all my money gone? And then I look and it's always like it's like I've spent it all, all my money, but like in little bits, so I hadn't noticed like four quid on something, like a game on Steam, I'll buy something, and then I'll buy something on Amazon, and then I'll buy something in a shop, and it's always like a couple of quid, but over and over and over again, I don't even realise I'm spending it, and I always spend all my money. Yeah, this one's the better one so far. Oof. Okay, what flavour, what strength was that? 20% again. Not too strong. Alright, let's try Twisted Melon. Oh. Twisted Melon, pink is the new yellow. I ever stared at the melon for hours wishing it wasn't yellow. Then realised melons are available in pink. Then got so excited you made a fruity drink flavour. Puts a nice twist in your lemonade. Okay. 
feeling these uh, shots. This one must be twenty percent again. I thought these were different strengths. These ones. Ooh, may have span a bit then. Anyway, it it reminds me of um. There used to be a sweet that smelled like that. I know I go on a lot about banana runts. When I was a kid, there was banana flavor sweets. There was also one that's, there was melon flavor, and the smell of it actually just reminded me of cucumber more than melon. And I think it was in the same. It might have been in the same one as those runts, where you got fruit flavors. You had the banana one, and then I remember I remember a melon flavor sweet when I was a kid. Anyway, I'm sure it was one of those Wonka brand sweets. Twenty percent melon. Daddy long legs again. I can't show it because it's flying around. I know. Um, I'm sure in America you've got daddy long legs and they're spiders, and in the UK we've got daddy long legs and they're uh, uh, crane flies. Are they? Is that what daddy long legs are? And uh, there's that rumor. My girlfriend says there's a rumor. There was a rumor when she was a kid that they they can kill you, but only if they bite you on the top part of your nose here where the the bone sticks like that's like the thinnest waist where, where your skin is thinnest that's where they can bite you and they'll kill you instantly if they bite you there but I said no that rumour is about spiders in America which are also called daddy long legs but I think it's also an urban legend it's not really true some people say they've got the the strongest poison known to man but they can't bite you with it or something I don't know if you can see it on camera buzzing around, it keeps flying around like in front of me. Anyway, let's try this melon drink. Mm, yeah, very melony. <laughs> melony. Yeah. Melon melon like. It's not really nice as a shot. I think it would be nicer with like a, a lemonade, but it's it's like it's concentrated a bit too much in the shot. It does taste a lot like it says. The best one so far has been that popcorn one. That's been good. It's too sweet. That's the, that's the problem with these. It's sugary. It's too syrupy. No. It's making us feel sick from the syrupiness of it. Uh. Oh, another thing I wanted to say on this video. I've written down some people's names here. Um, one thing is um, actually I wanted to mention was that recently um, I've been getting. I used to be able to rely on my Gmail inbox to tell me when people had like commented on videos and things. And now I don't seem to get messages. Um, it's like I don't see the comments appear in my inbox. I've got to go into my YouTube account and then go into my settings or the user pan dashboard and then go to community and then see comments. And it's like 10 clicks or something, not 10 clicks, but you know, it's loads of clicks and it's loading and all that and it takes ages and it's, it used to be just I'd be able to open up my inbox and see all comments that I'd got so um, if I don't like reply to comments and things um, I apologise because uh, I do try and respond to comments most of the time but um, a lot uh, recently I've not been seeing them appear so I, I don't notice until I go either into this bit or I click on the video um, to respond to someone else's comment and then I, I see a load of comments that I, I didn't know that I had um, but also a few people have got their account set where you can't reply and there's no reply button under your name and um, I'm sure some people might just do this for um, just because they don't want to have people respond to their comments um, but some people like ask me questions and it's like I can't respond to your comments. So these are the three people who comment on my videos now and then and um I just wanted to say if if you are wondering why I never replied to your comment, it's because I can't physically there's no button to reply, so space to time 
Primo Mondo and George Haddon Gill. Um, they're three people, there's probably others as well, but three people that have recently commented and I noticed, decided to write them down because I've always see this and I've got no way to, I can't tell them that I can't respond to their comment because I can't respond to them in any way. So, um, yeah, any of those three are watching. Um, yeah, I can't. Re I can't. For some reason, I can't respond to your comments. So, uh, yeah, that's why. If, if I'm not ignoring you, I just can't respond. Um, if you've got your your account set like that on purpose, fair enough, you know. But just in case you didn't know, that's the thing. Um, I think that's all. I've got a little notebook here. Uh, Here's a picture for you. That's um, the name of um, something in the game Guacamelee. You have to destroy Chu Chuzu statues, and um, I found that interesting because the name in Lovecraft books Cthulhu, um, how they have these weird statues of him, and how he talks about it in the, in his books, which like a f Cthulhu is a fictional like an invention of his but he talks about how it, the name changes through different cultures and then I saw this, this Mexican game Guacamelee they've got this weird statue, it must be a, some kind of Mexican god or something I don't know, I, I was going to research it Chuzo, Chuzo I probably pronounced it wrong but it, the statue looked almost Cthulhu like I thought I wonder if that's where Lovecraft got the idea I wasn't sure, maybe he stole bits of that that deity or something and then there's a, a shift that I was meant to do 2 till 7 Tuesday I actually ended up doing 12 till 7 interesting and then I drew this picture around it someone with their belly slit open and some legs there you go so anyway um, last one let's get it over and done with this one's the 30 percent <laughs> And the one I'm most excited to tell it says because it's um it seems more interesting. I like I like these flavours that are more of a concept. Ever wanted to taste a lightning bolt? You can't because it's dangerous and impossible. Drink this shockingly good tongue tickling spirit as a shot. So I wonder if it actually does taste like electricity. I've tasted a, a 9 volt battery and I've put that on my tongue and um, I've experienced the smell of electricity in the air so I don't know if it's going to taste like any of those things it doesn't smell of anything at all yeah it would be interesting to see some flavours that were actually just like completely conceptual ideas like the taste of like a flavour that was called like fear and it was supposed to invoke fear in someone or something like that rather than actually tasting of a of a flavour it was more of a I don't know the way the aftershave smell of things then they have stupid names a drink like that I don't know what I'm talking about I've had too many of these It doesn't smell of anything at all. I wonder if it's going to taste of anything. You know what? That, that does taste like when you put a 9 volt battery on your tongue. <laughs> it's got a bit of a a grapey blueberry sort of taste to it underlying it all it's slightly fruity but if you've if you've ever took put the contact parts of a 9 volt battery on your tongue which a lot of people have done and when they were kids you'll notice when you as soon as you hold it in your mouth and it does actually feel like that it's, I was actually strange I didn't expect that at all I was I was just joking when I said about 9 volt batteries. Alright, this video is coming on for 20 minutes. Let's, um, yeah. Mmm. 
<laughs> yeah, it's not um doesn't have a lot of flavour, it's more it is more about that tingling feeling. Definitely definitely feels like a battery. Reminds me of when I was a kid I had a G.I. Joe torch that changed colours and it took these big like D cell batteries in it. And I was only little and I was wearing like little little boy shorts and I unscrewed the back of it because the batteries had stopped working. I unscrewed the back of it and like tipped out the batteries and all this battery acid poured out all over my thighs and like melted them. Um, reminds me of that experience a little bit. I remember that all my all my skin was like bubbling up from this battery acid coming out of my GIO torch. Hey. Yeah, it's got oh, it like burns your throat. It's funny. It's like um, oh, it's almost peppery in its in a way. It's not hot, but it's like it tingles. It's like that stuff in the um, those sweets that I tried on the surf roaming video that Sven sent me, Sven Svensson, and they were the Swedish or whatever country they were actually originally came from. Someone said they came from somewhere else, not Sweden. I don't know, and they've got some chemical in them like salt. But it's um it slightly burns your tongue as you you're having it, so it's slightly slightly peppery. It's not quite peppery, not quite chilly. It's like a slight burning sensation. It's like that. It actually, does taste a bit like those sweets, but without the licorice. Yeah, I think I've identified the electricity. In this. Yeah, oh, it burns, it tingles as it's going down. It's, that's actually an interesting one. And the others are kind of a bit meh flavours, you know, if you get what I mean. Like, cut grass is an interesting concept, but it doesn't really taste that great. The others are just kind of fruity flavours. Um, the popcorn one does taste like popcorn, but it's like, it's more of just like in the jelly belly variety of novelty flavours, you know, jelly belly jelly beans. It's kind of like you've you've tasted those flavors before, but this uh, electricity. I don't know why they didn't do more like this. Like interesting experiences, uh, a kind of sensation as you drink it, rather than just a a, a dip of weird flavor or something. That's, yeah, this one's pretty good. Um, if you're going to go out and buy a bottle of any of these, get the um, electricity one. It's strangely interesting. Ah. Too many of these shots though. I was going to watch a film called Russell Madness which is about a dog that becomes a pro wrestler and has a monkey as his trainer. It's on Netflix. I've been, it's been in my queue for quite a long time now. Um, I think probably after all them shots it's probably the best time to watch a movie like that. Anyway, so, sorry for wasting your time for nearly 25 minutes. Um, it took me a long time to get through them shots. There you go. Oh, I got every single flavour at once then when I burped. Mm -mm. Alright. Interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll assimilate that sensation. I'll have to think about that. Anyway, bye everyone. See ya.